Good morning. We're here at Classic Cars of Palm Beach, Jupiter, Florida. I'm gonna do a little walk around video on this 2005 Dodge Viper. We do these videos for out of state and out of town buyers so they know exactly what they're getting when the car arrives. We just wanna make sure there's never any sort of questions or surprises, excuse me, when the, when the car shows up. So we're gonna go over the cosmetic condition of the car. We're gonna check out, see if there's any imperfections I can find for you. The car just came in a couple of days ago. Service wise, everything checked out great. Fires right up, runs like a beast. But you'll look, uh, if we look at the hood, you'll see a few little rock chips to be expected with the car with the age and mileage. You got a little bit of fading on the passenger side headlight. If you can see it in the video, that might buff out. Doesn't look horrible, it's not yellowed. Slight fading on the driver's side headlight as well. Just a few little rock chips in the front. Nothing excessive. Get you a shot underneath so you can see. I can't see what you're looking at, but hopefully you can see it. The emblem looks good. It's not too faded or anything like that. Let's go on the driver's side. I don't see any body damage looking down the driver's side of the car. Here's your driver's side front wheel. No real curb rash to speak of. Maybe a little bit right there. Tires, lots of tread depth on the tires. Date code is 2015. A few little rock chips on the mirror. Windshield, I'm not seeing any big chips or spidering, no cracks. Top looks fantastic. I don't see any seams, issues, or rips, or tears. The glass on the back looks great. Here you have your driver's side rear wheel. There's some minor, minor curb, nothing crazy. Good tread on the tire. A little clear coat right there on the rear bumper. Tail lights look good. Those aren't faded or cracked or broken. This is your passenger side rear wheel. Looks like there's a little discoloration on the polished rim here. I don't know if that'll just buff out. No real body damage that I can see on the passenger side. That's just some dirt. And then this is your passenger side front rim. Good. Let's go inside. There's a key here. First thing I like to do is see if there's any weird odors. I don't smell any pet smell, smoke smell, or like a mildewy smell. I don't smell anything like that. It's a little bit of fade right by the window switches here. Nothing crazy. Dashboard looks great. Looks like it has aftermarket Kenwood stereo. Shift knobs in good condition. Driver's side seat bolsters. It's got the Alpine speaker there. Let's go on the other side. Driver's side bolster. A little bit of maybe a little wear on the handle there. So all in all, I'd give the exterior a nine out of 10. Again, a few little rock tips, maybe some minor curb rash and some slightly faded headlights. Interior, probably nine and a half out of 10. Really good shape. The top's a 10 out of 10. Hope that video helps you out. Remember, no dealer fee, no haggle pricing, no commission salespeople. If you like a car and you wanna buy a car, it's usually a 30 to 45 minute process. We can ship them all over the country. We do remote deliveries, electronic signatures. Appreciate you checking us out. All the uh, photos and car facts are on our website, classiccarsofpalmbeach.com. Thanks.